Hi, this is Robin from robinsonlineworld.com and I wanted to explain to you a little bit today about using the tiles on Windows 8.1. So this is your start page and you'll see all the different little tiles. Obviously I have a lot of them because I have a lot of apps. Um, yours is going to look different, but I want to show you how to move things around and organize this a little bit more. So to start with, Anytime you want to get to the screen, you pull up over here and you click on start and that's where it brings you. If you click on it again, all right, let's try that again. Hi, this is Robin with robinsonlineworld.com and I thought I would share a little bit about organizing your tiles in Windows 8.1. So this is my start screen and you can see all of my different app tiles on it that I, as I scroll through them. I have a lot. Um, because I work with a lot of different apps, but you can organize this in a, a lot of different ways So the first thing you should know is that you can resize your tiles So if I go over here to Outlook, I can right click on it and then down here at the bottom I can unpin it from the start pin it to the taskbar Uninstall it open a new window run as an administrator. That's if you need to change some things on it open the file location or resize. So if you click on resize, some have more options than others. This one only has medium and small and there's small, you can see it change. I'm gonna change it back because I like medium. You can see other ones like Flipboard here. When I go to resize that one, it has large, which it is now, a wide, which you see a lot of them, and then also medium and small. Okay, so it just really depends on your preferences. Some apps you might want to have the tiles large, some of them very small. You can do whatever you want with them. Then, um, if you want to customize it, you can right click on your screen and click customize. And then you can make changes to the names of the groups. So for instance, I have this as Office 2013. I could actually call it Office 365 because that's what it is. Um, commonly used are apps that I use a lot. News sources, social, so I could change this to social media if I wanted. Imaging, photography, and you see, you can change it to whatever you want, okay? And then you can also get rid of them that way too. Um, when you click on Customize, you see the little X? you can just clear that and it'll not have the name for the group. And when you bring it up, you'll see that it just doesn't, oops, it doesn't have a name up there. Now, if you wanna reorganize your groups, you can go all the way down to the bottom corner down here and click this little minus sign. And this is what happens, it shrinks everything down. And then you can take your groups and just move them to whatever order you like. So this is Colby is my nephew. I might want to put him here. I might want to put social up at the beginning, imaging in front of games, whatever you like to do. Um, you can see this, that I have another, this group down here. I don't have names. These are all apps that I've downloaded that I haven't bothered to categorize yet. So that's another way you can organize your screen. And then you just click on it to go back to where you were. And I showed you this before, this little arrow right down here on the lower left side. When you click that, you can see all of your apps listed this way. Um, you can sort that by category, by name, by date installed, and by most used also. Um, I had it in category because I was organizing a few other things earlier, um, but you can just as easily go by name and it helps you find what you're looking for. And of course you have a search bar right up here too that you can just search for the apps you want. And then to go back, you just go back down here and there's a little arrow and you can go back that way. And really, that's how you can customize your start screen and all of your tiles and make it fit your needs. Remember, you don't have to have things pinned to this start bar. You can unpin them if you want. So if I don't want Facebook on here, I can unpin it from the start and it goes away. It doesn't mean I've uninstalled it, it just means it's down here and here's Facebook. And if I want to repin it, I right click to select it. And then I go down here to the lower left corner and click pin to start. And there it goes. Now they always go to the end of your list when you pin things. So then you just click and hold and you drag it to where you want it to be. 
So um, one of the things you might want to do if you have a lot to organize is to go to the smaller size and put the group you're going to add a bunch of things to. So say I was going to add for Colby, put it at the end and then go back in and now go down to my list and add whatever I want for Colby here. So alphabet writing, um, I'll pin it to the start and you'll see it's down here and I can easily just drag it right there. And then you can go back into the customize when you're done with that group and put the other group that you want to add a lot of things. It just saves you from dragging a long way if you have a lot of apps like I do. So I hope that helps you organize your start screen tiles. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment and I will do my best to answer. Thanks.